Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Zelle to transfer money between banks. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. So we first need to discuss what are the methods of actually transferring from or in between banks. Now, in most cases, there are going to be two ways to actually transfer funds from your bank. In this case, if your bank actually supports Zelle, the integration or the option to send via Zelle would already be available on the bank app for your banking institution. Now, in this case, you need to install the banking app for your bank, and usually you should be able to see a section, which in this case, transfer with Zelle. But in some cases, if Zelle is not supported by your banking institution, then you need to download the Zelle app, which in this case, I'll be showing you. Now, in this case, make sure to install or update the Zelle app, and once you've done that, you should be able to see the screen here. In this case, go ahead and click on Get Started. Now on the next screen, it's going to ask you to enter your mobile number. So you need to first create your account. Now, once you've entered your mobile number and hit on continue, it should redirect you to the privacy and security uh, section. Now in this case, read through all the privacy and security here. That includes the service agreement, the uh, website if you want to visit that, e-sign your consent and service agreement. Now once you've agreed to that, go ahead and click on continue at the very bottom and it should redirect you to the next page, which in this case, it's going to say find your bank. Now in this section, if your bank actually supports or once you're able to search for your bank in the section and they support Zelle, and it will, they will actually notify you that you need to visit the actual banking app for your banking institution for you to start transferring between Zelle. But in some cases, if again, it does not support Zelle or your bank does not support Zelle, it should be able to actually give you an option to add your card and start transactions. Now, in this case, just an example, like for example, if you type in Bank of America, it's going to actually say go to the banking app for your banking institution or go to your banking app. In this case, you just need to click on it. It should open up the banking app for Bank of America and show you how to transfer your funds from Zelle. Now, in this case, again, if is your banking institution does not support it, it's going to ask you to enter your email. In this case, go ahead and enter your email, click on continue, and the next page, it's going to ask you to add or basically enter your verification uh, code. Now, this will be sent via your email, so go ahead and check your email and verify your email. Now, once you've done that, it's now going to ask you to enter your debit card or your card information. In this case, that includes your card number, the first name, last name indicated in the card itself, expiration date, and security code or CVV. Now, there are going to be some limitation on this one. So in this case, you can only add debit cards that are Visa or MasterCard. Now, if you have an American Express card, they will not be able to accept that. So Visa and MasterCard are, on, are the only ones accepted to this one. Now, also, if you have like a business account related to your card, you won't be able to add your debit card in here because, again, you need to have the or you need to access the actual banking app for you to do that but in this case if your bank institution does not support Zelle then again you won't be able to uh, make your a transaction via your business account now also credit cards and prepaid cards are also ineligible or you will not be able to use them as a means of payment paying for the transaction itself but in this case once your card or once you've entered your card details you should be able to start entering your details or your billing information that includes your address your zip code cd and state now on the next page once you complete all the information that it requests it will reject you to another page in this case you can basically choose either send or receive and in this case you just need to follow the next screen or the on-screen steps for you to make your transaction also, you might need to provide some uh, information uh, whenever you're sending some funds. So that includes the bank account number and their name and uh, some information about yourself and confirming it. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.